Got stabbed in the chest and I chose the wrong needle because I'm dragging my wagon today. Oh, you gotta breathe. Good morning guys from the third floor recording studio. This is where I record my podcast. If you guys have been following along on my channel on the podcast, you'll notice that this past week there has not been a podcast since last Friday. And the reason behind that was it wasn't completely planned that I would take a break, but it was, I think, needed that I needed to take a break. And I had finished up my series that I was doing through Ephesians, and I wanted, next I'm going to be doing a series that is kind of near and dear to Mary and I's heartbeat of why we do what we do on YouTube and our mission, and kind of like philosophy of how we approach life. And it comes out of 2 Corinthians chapters 1 through 5. It really has shaped a lot of Mary and I's thinking over the past several years, specifically during our time when I was in seminary and I was getting ready for pastoring a church and what that looked like as our lives were a little outside of the box of what we had once imagined life would look like. And so anyways, I've been spending a lot of time thinking through and preparing for this and I wasn't quite ready this week and we also had some projects we were working on in getting ready for our trip to Chicago. Anyways, that's why there hasn't been a podcast. I am sitting down today to record. I'm actually, before I start recording the podcast, I'm doing via video for a men's breakfast, I think next weekend. So I, I'm going to get that done today and then record hopefully this coming week of the podcast. And because Mary and I are going to be in Chicago, uh, we're really excited about that. So we got a lot of things that we're working on, getting the house squared away. And uh, we've got downstairs in our front hallway is like a collection of things that need to be put away. And so after I'm done recording, I think I'm going to head down there. And uh, I think some like Thanksgiving and fall decorations that we need to pack away. We got our Christmas stuff packed away. And I'm not sure where in the mix of life and Christmas and all that, the fall decorations never got put away. So going to get there and uh but for now let's get to recording are you having a nice nap hi <laughs> are you pretty cozy oh yeah <laughs> hey harry we love you. This is a very funny angle. Actually, from this angle, you're able to see this little spot on his lip. I thought that maybe it was like a rug burn or something. I noticed it right after he came to live with us. And and then I went back and looked at pictures because then I was worried he got it like in the first couple days of living here. But he had it um, before we got him as well. Um, so when we took him to the vet, the first time a few weeks ago we mentioned it to them and they said it's something called a rodent ulcer so he is on medication for it currently it has improved slightly but i think it'll take a little a little bit longer for it to heal up but he's uh living his best life oh <laughs> morning. I should probably go upstairs and get that little tiny red wagon and we should do like an artsy shot where I like walk across the screen and the wagon's like trailing behind me because I'm dragging my wagon today but I pushed myself to get out of bed because I wanted to get out of bed. I did an hour of vest this morning and my lungs were just needing it. So I did it. And then I came downstairs because I wanted to make some food. I'm so excited. So I'll tell you what it is. I had a bag of frozen broth that I had made like some turkey stock. Nice. 
And then it actually had a few noodles in it. So it must have been the leftovers from soup. It was like little curly noodles. I don't think we'll even find them. I added carrots and onions, celery and corn. And then that would be considered... <laughs> What's that? That's Parmesan. Oh, wow. It was like a little extra leftover Parmesan chunk. Nice. Um, and then these like slicker noodles. I'm really excited. Chicken pot pie in a bowl. Love it. I just got done filming and Mary's like, That's amazing. You hungry? And I'm like, yeah. Yep, pretty so, much. Cool, thanks then. Yeah. Do you want to hear one of my recent goals in life? Yeah. Okay, let's, I'm going to see if you can figure out what my goal in life. It has to do with this pot of soup. Oh, using up all the food? Well, yes, but different. I'm thinking of a different goal. Um, <laughs> pot of soup. Um, oh, no. What? Um, It's fine. It's not a fire, but the dog is loose. Not our dog, a different dog. He, he goes back. Okay. Okay, my goal is to not make giant pots of soup. <laughs> if I'm making like one of our favorites, which is Ribolita, it has cabbage and kale, carrots, almost anything that starts with a C. Um, no, just kidding. Um, I make such a huge pot of soup when we make that soup and then we get sick of it and then we can't eat it all. Well, my latest goal, which yesterday I made another pot of soup and it fed us each for one meal and then there were two leftover bowls. Perfect, so let's see if I accomplished it today. I'm gonna dish it out. I think I did it. I think that's gonna be about one, another bowl. Let's see, no does it fit in two bowls? Yep. It does. Well because done, you did this yesterday too. Any more than that, you get sick of it. Yeah, like, it's just wouldn't it's just two of us. So like, if you have a bigger family, it's easier to make a big bowl pot of soup. It's easier to eat it all. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> like, I it's can pretty... make a big pot of soup. <laughs> so good job, Mary. That's it's awesome. so good, so yeah. good. Last night we did a thing. So <laughs> we have a slight addiction to these. Um, peppermint mochi ice cream ball things and uh, we may have gone uh, like to another town where we saw online they were in stock and then we called and made sure they were in stock and we bought all that they had so we bought seven boxes of them because I think it's just a limited like I'm guessing it's just yes. for the holiday season Correct. that they have them and like our We've only been able to find them at Target, I think, and um, our normal Target has been, we went the other day, to, we were like, oh no, we're out of those, we should get more before they don't have them anymore, and they didn't have them anymore. And there's really only one other flavor that we like, and you can't really find that. I haven't seen it the last few times. I think they have it at Harris Teeter, but... But anyway, plus we, we really aren't huge dessert people, so I was like, well, it's really the only dessert we have, and we each eat like one little mochi ball it's or two. It's so good. Just saying. <laughs> Are you two having such a nice little rest? <laughs> I'm so glad you guys like this fluffy blanket. Is it kind of a sleepy day?
All right, I have my medical bag packed. I need to flush my port. I'm due in the next couple of days. And um, Monday we have a lot of things going on, so I thought I'll go ahead and flush it tonight. And um, yeah, so. Uh, I don't need that, I need this. A cap, and then a yellow heparin, a saline, and I think that's it. And I realized I used the wrong needle. I had one power port needle and the rest are not approved for, uh, what's it called, CAT scan. Like if you need a CAT scan with the high pressure contrast. Um, so I grabbed the wrong needle. I wanna see if I have any more. They were hard to get a hold of. Ooh, I have one more. Okay, Mary. Dear Mary, take the power port needle out of the main needle bin. Smart girl. Okay, there you go. <laughs> All right, I am going to put, oh, I had sterile saline right there. Wow. Okay, next time I go to access my port, do not film while you're getting your uh, supplies or you might grab the wrong thing. Okay, I'm gonna put the power port needle just right down there. Is that smart? I don't know. But anyway, okay. Port chain accessed. Done. Sometimes it bleeds. It is bleeding, but it's fine. Um, it won't it won't bleed for too long. And dispose of the needle. I have a little tiny one here. I have a giant one down there. Hey. Oh, pretty full. We'll go on the big one. Okay, I'm feeling real exhausted now, real frustrated. Got stabbed in the chest and I chose the wrong needle. Grr. But that's today. And that, that's what happens, though. So. I can get you more needles for $7 a piece. Seven? Yeah. Oh, so if I have trouble getting them through home care, apparently we can order them online for $7. There you go. Whew. Anyway, as always, we'll, we'll see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, Good night. night. And Ollie just went outside. Good. Good night, Ollie boy. Ollie, you want to say good night? Where is he? He's all better. You're hurrying in the middle of the yard. Okay. Those lights are still so magical. <laughs>